it's your girl Tony time and I'm back with some more sims for you okay so I did promise you that I was gonna get build and buy up and I'm gonna do that right now so I did upload my um, CAS for my wedding stories I uploaded that yesterday and that was Friday February 25th so I did get it out when I said I was gonna get it out I am now recording this on Saturday the 26th so I'm gonna try to record this and edit this and get it up by tonight so let's see if I can do it all right so we now have 17 worlds in the sims okay we have tartosa which is the new one and i love that the little doves kiss they are so cute um i love the little arches that i just saw uh in towns you guys see the little arch right and then there's the town in the backdrop so i literally just opened up my sims i'm just now going to build and buy for this so let's go in Okay, so we have Tartosa, right? And it says, world description, romantic sights and scenery have long graced the seaside region of Tartosa, creating the perfect setting for love and matrimonial pursuits. It isn't uncommon for vacationers and honeymooners alike to return year after year, seeking to re-experience the intimacy of visits past. They say there's a love story in the making for everyone. Just ask Tartosa's residents. Oh, I'm very curious about the residents. I have not looked at anything, like I said. Um, just ask Tartosa's residents, and they'll excitedly gossip about local wedding industry shenanigans or the area's love lace historical past. But even if a sim doesn't find their soulmate here, one thing is for certain, they're fa they're fated to fall in love with the land. Okay? And I see already, I think we have two open lots. Oh, three open lots that we can go on. So let's just start up here. Um, this is Terra Amor Amorosa. So Amor, love, right? And Terra, land, so land of love right? Um, a short trip up the coastline from Porto Luminoso is the loving land known. Oh, so side note, sorry. So you know how every world in the sim is like, um, like, like a specific place. So like Mount Corrent, Cor Cormel Rebi or Rebi. I'm not sure how you even say it. Cause honestly, I never realized there was a second M or uh, there was an M in there. I always thought it was just K L K O R E B I. And that shows you guys how much attention I've been paying to my game lately. Um, but so you know how like that is supposed to be like Japan, right? Because it's like, um, Asian inspired. And so I'm wondering now if Tartosa is supposed to be like, um, Latin inspired, like maybe Spain or something kind of like how we have, which world is that? The vacation world. Um, I cannot think of the name right now. It's slipping my mind. But the first, the second vacation world that we got, now Granite Falls, the other one. I like that one was also Latin inspired, but I think that was supposed to be more Latin America. So I'm wondering if this is like Spain. Sorry, that was a long tangent. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, a short trip up the coastline of Puerto Luminoso is the loving land known as Terra Amoroso to the locals. Whether fishing off the boardwalk, swimming at the bottom of secluded Hideaway Falls, ooh, that sounds cool, or hiking up the hillside, because we have hiking from uh, the pack I was just talking about, the mountain pack, right? Um, or hiking up the hillside to visit the area's famous lover's tree, any sim is bound to fall madly in love with the various charming sites and historic landmarks this lover's paradise has to offer. Okay, so lover's tree, I'm curious if that's either A, going to lead us to a new world, kind of like the hidden tree in, is that Willow Creek? Yes. Or if people can get married at it. Just curious. Anyway, so we have this one, um... What did I just say? Residential lot. It's a 30 by 20 lot and it's called Refugio de Pirate. I believe that's how you say that. And so it's saying, at first glance, it's obvious the starter is steel. Scenic views overlook Hideaway Falls, the entirety of the Terra Amosa Asturia area, and the Lover's Tree. So Lover's Tree is over here. However, it's the hidden history that makes the spot so particularly notable to the locals. Shh, it's a secret though. A bit of sleuthing and you're bound to discover what makes this lot one of the best that Tartosa has to offer. Okay, so besides the fact that it has the tree and the falls in the back, I'm curious now. So I might have to go look that look at that later. Then we have Via Romanza, which is a, was that 30 by 30? 30 by 30 lot. And this one says, situated just off the Terra Mosa Astori, close to Hideaway Falls and overlooked by the Lover's Tree, uh, Via Romanza is a prime piece of real estate. Its local its location in the heart of Tartosa's love industry begs the question, what will this plot of land become? The wedding industry's next big venue, a rental for the many coupled lovebirds who return on honeymoon, or simply a home for those who find themselves moved by the land's romantic ambiance. So also, you guys see the world. I'm curious if this world's more uh, yellowy tone. And red, and red tone because it's supposed to be romantic. And so I still think that one of the best lit worlds in the whole game is Willow Creek. I don't care what anybody says. Y'all can fight me on it. 
I still think that's one of the best lit ones. So I'm just going to have to check this out in a minute. All right, so we have the Markovic family right here. And so it says, uh, the Markovic family are locally renowned for their contribution to the musical side of the wedding industry. Oh, so they're, they're musicians. Okay. Despite having put off their own wedding time and time again, this is no this is in no small part due to relations between them and the Laurent family being rather strained. Oh, God, are the kids going to be like Romeo and Juliet? Okay. Um, <laughs> Matteo believes the Laurents have a stranglehold on wedding business and work hard and works hard to retain relevance. While Lucia's um, animosity is directed at Hector, a former lover, all the drama and work has kept them busy and unwed. Meanwhile, you just got the little kid over here, Tommy. Poor Tommy. Oh, poor baby. All right, and then we have, which world, uh, what is this? La, Co La, La Copia Serena. Oh my gosh, I swear I can read. Okay, so this is a 50 by 40 wedding um, venue. And also the Marco Markovics live on a 40 by 30 lot. Okay, so the La Copia Serena, the golden crown of Tartosa's wedding industry, Sims travel from all around the world to partake of the area's many romance-oriented accommodations, and it com all comes together here on the day of each Sims wedding. Indoor or outdoor, this venue has hosted a multitude of dream weddings and will continue to do so for generations to come. Okay, fair enough. And let's see. Um, by the way, we only get, I guess, the two sections, so... Where I'm currently reading, all these people, I believe, live on Porto Luminoso. And it says, historians say Porto Luminoso's name originated when pirates arrived at shore, attracted by the glowing tides, the promise of trade, and the invention of the fruit tart. That is funny. Over time, the village flourished, and while still famous for its fruit tarts, Porto Luminoso's real claim to fame is its self-proclaimed title as the wedding industry's premier destination for romance and matrimonial services. Oh, I just realized we actually have four lots because I just, I noticed this blank one down here. Okay, let's go to the Laurent's family. Literally their neighbors, literally the Markovic's neighbors. So let's see what we have here. Um, Laurent may be a newer name in the area, but the family certainly isn't. <laughs> For generations, they've owned the local wedding venue, the cornerstone of the wedding industry in the area. And Hillary's family opened the first food stalls in the village square back when they moved to the area. Now she's a chef in, a, in her parents' restaurant, and the local food market <clears throat> has flourished. Together, this family forms a wedding industry powerhouse. Okay, so we have, I guess, Grandma. I don't know whose mom this would be. Um, Thebe, Ar Arnessa Thebe. She might be the mom of Hector Lamont. I don't know. But she's here, so we, I don't know who she's, who she's related to, but she's somebody. Then we have Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Laurent, Hector Laurent, who's the ex-lover, right, of our uh, friend from the other one. I believe her name was Lucia, if I remember. And then we have Greta, and then we have Jace, okay? So very, very cute. Next, we have Villa Vigna. Um, it's a 30 by 20 rental lot, and also the Laurent's live on a 50 by 50 lot. So let's go now to the Villa, Villa Vigna. Visit Tartosa's Villa Vigna and enjoy Porto Luminoso's breathtaking cliffside views. Stay and enjoy all the amenities this rental has to offer or take a walk through down through the vineyards and... Ooh, they have vis vineyards. Oh my gosh. Okay. Or take a walk down through the vineyards and visit the village for a small shopping trip. Just don't forget to try the local cuisine. Oh, yes, I will. I will try that. Next, we have Piccolo Luce. So we have this, oh, maybe Tartosa is supposed to be Italy. Because if we have a Spanish-inspired one, I'm wondering, or a Latin-inspired one, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be Italy. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Piccolo Luce, or Luces. Um, this adorable home hides off Puerto Luminosa shore on tiny Piccolo Luce, or Luce. I'm going to say Luce. Luce Island. Its decor pulls from nature around it, the sea cerulean waters, and the coast's famous apricot sunsets. There's no better home for a sim seeking solitude in a love lace land. And like I said, that is a 20 by 20 lot. And then we have the blank lot right here, Baya del Amore. And this says, tucked snugly along Tartosa's sunset coastline, Baya del Amore offers the best of the area, soft and sandy beaches to share with the lover, plus nighttime bioluminescent shores that are perfect for lighting up a romantic dip and only a short stroll from Porto Luminoso. And that is a 40 by 20 lot. And last but not least, and it, it looks like a beach, but it says residential, so I guess you can have a residential, uh, or you can have a, um, a home on the beach. 
And the very last one is Celebrazioni. Okay, yeah, I think this is Italian. <laughs> Celebrazioni de Amore. And that says it's a lounge and it is a 50 by 40 lot. The La Copia Serena may be the local go-to for wedding ceremonies, but every sin knows Celebrazioni de Amore is the best place to host a true party. Afterwards, head into the gardens for a stroll or uh, back behind the lounge for a romantic view of the sea. I love that. Okay. And I just wanted to check something. I just noticed Del Amore is like lowercase here and then it's uppercase here. I don't know if that means anything. I just noticed it. And because it's going to bother me, I just want to lowercase that. Because I'm that person who gets annoyed by stuff not looking right. <laughs> okay, anyway. So these are all of our locks in Tartosa. Really quickly, um, <clears throat> I guess we can go, we probably go on the 30 by 30 lot, right? I think that might be fine. Let's go build on the 30 by 30 lot. Really, I just want to see the lighting. I'm very, very curious about what the lighting looks like. Okay. Oh, this actually has very beautiful lighting. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay. I don't know if this lot's going to be big enough, but we're going to see how much stuff we can fit on this lot. And let me quickly just um, put on my bb.move objects so we can actually put stuff where I want to put it, right? So let's start out. I don't think we have anything new here because I didn't see anything lit up, but y'all know that I'm a little crazy and I like to check. Okay, so it looks like we have some new stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, we get a new a new fountain type thing. So it says to the moon and back orb lamp. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like that water spout one that we already have, but it's just in a different color. You guys know the rock one. That's what I'm guessing this is. Okay, and then we have a new floor. Oh, the sand. So you get new sand. Okay, we have a new chimney. Or three new chimneys, because I'm guessing these are for wedding chapels, right? And so those are our three new chimneys. I don't think we have anything here. Y'all know me. I just like to click and make sure, because I, I told y'all, right, every single time I um, go into a new game, or like we get a new game and I look at everything, I always end up missing something. And sometimes I swear, sometimes I swear, y'all, that they do not light up, which is why I always want to check stuff. I'm like, listen, is everything good? I like this uh, black one. That would look really nice. And do they, did they have a white one, all white? I don't think so. They just had like white with different accent colors. Okay. But yeah, we do get some nice cool chimneys. Um, don't think we got anything here. It would have been nice if we could have like a heart, spandrel, and column. Like kind of how they gave us the one. I think it had hearts in it, right? The one from uh, the Hawaiian pack that we got. I think that like something like that would have been really cute. But like if it was just solid hearts. Because the one that we got with the Hawaiian pack was um it just had hearts like engraved in it so i don't know if i'm making it clear what i'm thinking of but i know what i'm thinking of <laughs> okay so next we have a gate we don't get any new stairs or any new ladders it doesn't look like but we do get a gate and a fence so let me just quickly boop and boop or not i said boop <laughs> wait it doesn't do it Wait, you guys noticed this, right? Oh, okay. It was just, it was clipping weird. Okay, that's fine. I was like, why is it not connected? Okay, so this is what that looks like. Oh, it's kind of worn. I like that. I really, really like that, how it's worn. That is so cool because it looks lived. Okay, let's look down here at our other colors, right? You guys know, um, where's the, nope, I want this one. Sorry, I couldn't think of what the, what the actual thing was that I was looking for. This shows you guys I really haven't played Sims in forever because I'm having a moment where I don't remember where stuff is. Oh, there we go. I was trying to click off of it so it wouldn't. Because that one was black. That one's brown. That one's black. That one's black as well. Black again. I'm looking at the fence in the background. Um, white. And then, ooh, that kind of looks nice. I like that. It looks really clean. Okay. And then we have other ones, other uh, gates. So now we have less worn gates which I don't have a problem with purple. Purple is my favorite color. Y'all know that if y'all ever looked at my channel. <laughs> um, okay, so those are really cute. And then we have doors, right? So let's see what doors we have. Okay, so I need to make a wall. Give me one second. Do we have anything in these? No, okay, so let's go back to the doors. 
and let me make this higher there we go okay so we have different doors here right I'm gonna have to make another wall but these are the different doors so we have an actual entryway a giant door which this is lovely this would look really nice for anybody who wants to build a church in the sims like that would be good that's a good archway or a good door I should say um, I'm assuming the doors are just like the gate yeah they come in the same options right this one looks black but it's brown hmm. and then we have our last one which obviously again same exact thing as the gate same exact thing as the door I just showed you it's just in a different um a different shape and I'll just show it to you from the front it looks like all the handles are gold okay now we're gonna go and we're gonna do windows and we're gonna build a second um a second wall because I did not make the last wall large enough we're just gonna go around here we're gonna go here we're gonna go here okay so we have this one oh that is beautiful that is that is gorgeous oh my gosh that stained glass I like that I, I love this so far and if it has what I want in it because I remember we got stained glass which pack was that that we got stained glass in spell the spellcaster one we got stained glass in the spellcaster one I use that stained glass like to hell and back like I I used it so much oh my gosh look at the lighting and I think I have my lighting only turned on the high it's not on ultra high so like that's actually really good for lighting oh that's so pretty I could see this in a little girl's room <gasps> that white oh my gosh y'all I love this and I like how not all of them are stained glass like that like that would be gorgeous in just somebody's house and then we have also this one which is another stained glass right traditional we did also get a stained glass a few stained glasses in um when Windenburg when we got the Windenburg update and this is what it looks like from the front you see the texture um but yeah we did get a few stained glasses from that pack but I never used those because they weren't like stained glasses that I would use I don't know they were like really really small um windows and I was like eh, I'm not really loving it Okay, this is just a bigger version of the one I just showed you, but let's go through the colors real quick. And then this is just another version of the other stained glass one that I also just showed you. Just another shape, right? Ooh, I love that with the with the little lines going through it. Those are cute. Okay, but yeah, so you guys saw those. And then let's go here. We get one, like, patio balcony. So we get one patio balcony. This is what it looks like. So you guys can see the different color swatches. I'm so curious about the furniture. Furniture. I'm surprised we didn't get a new floor. I'm like actually surprised we didn't get a new floor. Okay. We got a new wallpaper. So let's see the wallpaper. So this is what it looks like. It's called Faded Sun or Sun Faded Paint. That's actually really cute. Okay. So let's see. We got this orange. We got a white. And you can kind of see it's a little bit uh, darker than the base white, right? We got a tan or a beige we got a yellow and a tan a green a gray and it looks like the baseboard turns color slightly when you change them another orange another orange another beige -ish, beige beige ish say that three times fast oh my gosh and another pink okay let's go into our objects and then i'm gonna go from the objects to the styled rooms and then i think that's everything Okay. Oh, and did I check? I don't remember if I checked this. Did we check that? Okay, yes. So let's go. Wait, no, not that one. Sorry. Let's go here. We have the my my wedding stories. My wedding stories. <clears throat> so let's go through chairs first. So chair, chair. Cause y'all know I like to do this by section, and we just run through it. It makes my life so much easier. I swear. Okay. I did see these um the third and the fourth chair on here so far. I did see those on another page when I was looking for the official Tartosa or the official My Wedding Stories um what is that called screenshot like like the the picture I saw those and I was like oh my god those are so cute oh I like this I like that a lot okay so these are the couches right and then these are the chairs see these are the chairs that I saw actually no I'm 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 fibbing okay no it was not when I was searching up for the official picture it was when I went on the sims and I went to go look at if there were any new sims updates after we got the pack or whatever and I ran into the the newest announcement about the creators 
who made stuff for the sims wedding pack and i was just like oh these are really cute okay oh this is see-through that is adorable i like that i really like that oh my gosh and i love the rainbow one i would definitely put the rainbow one or the purple one or the pink one in a kid's room like i i have to okay so these two chairs are the exact same just one has a flower um flower set on the back so let's go look at that real quick like i said they're the exact same just one has the flowers on the back um oh that's so pretty i love this i love this and then obviously this is the same exact one as well just different flowers and a different chair shape but all the same colors oh actually is this the same this blue one no see actually i i fibbed again so no it has some different ones that has like a brighter orange okay and then we have this one Ooh, i need to zoom out a little bit okay so this is what that looks like that is gorgeous i love that um pattern on the on the chair that's really pretty okay and then we have a black one kind of looks like the chair's wearing a head wrap i love that <laughs> and then we have is this the same chair yes so this is the same chair as this one obviously just without the flowers okay all right oh and i have to do these guys i almost forgot almost forgot y'all almost forgot y'all okay gotta do my benches and stuff this i guess is for the wedding like when you're on the beach and stuff Ooh, that's so pretty i love patterns i love patterns and i love when we get like pillows with our games or with our couches like i don't know it's something about it that just makes it look more realistic i guess and more lived in this would look really pretty outside on somebody's patio um, I want to see this one from the back. I want to see if, okay, there's nothing like on the back that engraves. And then we obviously have our traditional uh, church pews, sit your behind down, listen to something about the Lord, or get married, right? Okay, we have the Fenwick, Fenwick the V banquet table. So we get a nice long table. We have the fun table. So I'm guessing that's like for kids. <laughs> and then Oops, there it is. Oh my goodness, what is, is this a bookshelf? What is this? Wait, I must know what this is. No, it's just a shelf, I think. I think it's just a shelf. I don't know. I'm gonna click on it in a second. I must know. I must know what this is. It is just a shelf. Okay, I was just very curious. Okay, go back to where we were at to show all. Okay, let me scroll down. Oh my goodness, wait, no, I don't wanna show all of everything. I want this. I was like, wait, what happened? Okay, I just wanted to see what we were working with. This, this is gorgeous. And I actually, when I was redecorating my apartment, because um, I did move, y'all. When I was redecorating my apartment, um, I was actually going to buy a shelf like this. And I was so in love. And it was like $90 at, where was that store? I think it was at Ross. And I, like, my fiance talked me out of it. He was like, no, because where is it going to fit? And I'm just like, mm, I want it. <laughs> Um, this also reminds me of that new three table that we got recently. Which pack was that that we just got that three table in? Was that, ooh, what was the last pack we got? Henford on Backley? Was that that one? I don't know. I'm telling y'all, I really haven't played my game in forever. And I don't, I, y'all see I'm struggling with the names of the, t of the towns and stuff. Like I used to know this stuff by heart and I'm truly like struggling. Like which world is that? Who did what? What is this? Why is it? Oh, it's like a purple sash in the middle. I was like, why is that just a purple stripe? I didn't know what was happening. Okay, I love this. I love this so much. It's so pretty. Okay, so those are our different tables and everything. Then we have, what is this? A dance floor. Oh, we get a new dance floor. Okay. So we get the, the large, the medium, and the small, right? Or the grande, the medium, and the petite. <laughs> That's cute. Because it used to be small, medium, and large. So I guess they just made it really cute. And like Italian inspired. These are really nice floors. Like this is a really nice dance floor. I would put this in somebody's room as a carpet. Like in one of my Sims rooms. I would put that in their room as a carpet. See like that one? That's beautiful. And then obviously all the other same patterns, right? Just on a bigger scale. Um, Just showing those to you real quick. Right? And again bigger scale right okay so what do we have now? Ooh, we get a new piano oh my god that piano is beautiful this is a beautiful piano guys oh my god i love this i love this oh now i really need 
they're like a, a musically talented sim. <gasps> Ooh, I just put, I, I just had the perfect thought. Oh my god, I know exactly which sim I'm gonna make play this piano. It's so funny. I think of like, oh, what sim <laughs> would go good with the furniture or with this clothing instead of like, oh, who would this look good on? I'm just like, mm -mm. like, like I'm gonna create somebody who this is gonna look good on. Okay, so we get that we get oh wait this isn't for the thing what is this one what does this go on oh maybe here wait what is this the gravy fountain mark v stan does it does it go on top of here oh i was like what's happening why can't i put this on top of anything okay so we get a new thing of champagne right toasting celebration bucket very very cute on ice knock yourself out right and then we also get a new um, banquet table. So we have this one with the flowers, very pretty. They're like flowers and then like ornaments on top of them. So that's beautiful. And then obviously a special wedding thing for chocolate and fondue and whatever else, cheese or whatever you're gonna put in here, right? It actually says gravy, but I'm gonna say it's probably for other stuff. Okay, so now we have another one and this can also go on top of here, right? And so I'm gonna move you over real quick because I noticed, oh wait, and I also noticed that the base that the that the fountain is on changes color in case you didn't catch that, cause I didn't. Okay, so then we have this table. This is just gorgeous. I love this. I love the glass on top. It looks very elegant. Okay, the bar magnet. So we got a new bar. Let's go look at our new bar. Oh gosh, I feel like we're running out of space. <laughs> we got a new bar and this is what it looks like. It's very clean. I like all the stone that we got. Like a lot of these objects are stone. And so that's actually really nice. So that's what it looks like from the front. You guys saw the wood changing color right on the inside. Double happiness tea set. So we got a new tea set. And then I guess we got another new tea set. Oh, that's so pretty. You can now play like tea party or something with your kids. That's so cute. That's probably not what it's made for, but that's what I would use it for. Like that'd be so adorable. Okay. I love that. Oh, look at the little... Oh, I thought that was a fish, y'all. I'm... <laughs> that, that's a whole flower. That's like, <laughs> this is a random story, but that's like, I want to say about a year and a half ago, my fiance and I were going out. Uh, like we were walking out of our apartment and we were going to the car. I forget where we were going. We were probably going grocery shopping or something. I said, I said, babe, look at the squirrel. Look at that squirrel. And he's like, what squirrel? What squirrel are you looking at? I was looking across the, um, the parking lot i'm like babe the squirrel right there you don't see that and he's like he's like tony that that's a whole toddler i was like oh my god i am blind and, and then i eventually found out recently like within the last six months that i do need eye surgery on both my eyes because i am losing my vision so <laughs> that is my life <laughs> that's also something i've been dealing with why i've also not been on here is because i've been having a quite a few health issues um and I'm not gonna get into all of it but like my body's literally falling apart <laughs> just in random aspects like from my eyes to my teeth to my actual body uh fighting against me like it's just a mess um luckily I'm still here y'all and luckily a lot of it is fixable or treatable with medicine so that's what I'm doing right now okay anyway so these are gorgeous arches this is like a this is like a spellcaster arch this is no this is not a gate into an unknown uncertain future this is a minimalistic and elegant wedding arch that will be the perfect frame to your wedding ceremony as you walk down the aisle you picture yourself embarking on a journey of a lifetime with your significant other and i know exactly who would get married with that wedding arch again oh my god i know who exactly would get married with this one as well like i'm telling y'all i have so many sims in mind for things I want to do with them. Oh, I love that little detail. That little detail of how it sweeps across because it's draped. Anyway. Um, and so I'm just going, I'm just having fun, y'all. I already know what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do with this pack. Okay, we already did that one. Let's go here. I'm assuming it's the same as the one we just looked at. It's just a different shape again. We have this firm looking one. What is it? Are these firms? I don't know. I'm reading it real quick. It does not say anything about ferns, but it says, let's get literal. So I'm going to probably look up if that's a type of plant later. I 
am not good with plants, y'all. My my coworkers at work gave me a pot of flowers. It was uh, yellow. What were they? Oh, God, I forget. They were yellow. Mm, I can't think of what the flower's called now. But long story short, they don't usually bloom this time of year, right? And so people at work who saw them on our desk, on mine and my coworkers' desk, were like, oh my God, where'd you guys find those flowers? Like, it's they're not in season, blah, blah. And we were like, well, we don't know. Like, they were a gift. Long story short, I had the flowers for about two weeks before they died. And I was watering them. I had them in the sun, everything. But then I also didn't feel bad because my coworker has a green thumb. Like, she is a plant mom. She keeps her things alive. Hers died too, so I didn't feel bad. I was like, it must be too cold. I'm like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me for once. <laughs> okay. Petals to the Mebel, the mobile flower trailer. What is that? Oh, the mobile flower trailer. I got it. <laughs> I got it. It's the flower shop. <laughs> I was like, what's a mobile flower trailer? <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like, right? Obviously, they just come in different colors. Okay, we have a tabletop bouquet. You know what? They didn't give us bouquets. Oh, wait, no, we have the bouquet shop. Never mind, never mind. I'm like, wait a second. How do we knock the bouquet with a wedding pack? And then I remembered we do actually get the bouquet shop, right? Okay, so we have some flowers. Oh, that one can go up here. Okay, and then we have one. Oh, one more that goes up here. Okay, so we have three flower centerpieces, and then we have one main flower um, like thing that doesn't go up on anything. I just wanted to double check, right? So I guess like this one would be a pillar. Is that what it is? It's a skyscraper bouquet by Colossus Arrangements, <laughs> aka you got money and you decided you wanted to spend it on your flower budget. <laughs> um. And again, listen, I'm telling you. So one thing I've been doing lately too while I've been away from Sims is I have been writing more. I got back into writing very heavily. Um, haven't been uploading regularly, but I have been writing regularly, which is good. And so uh, one thing that I've been doing on the side with my writing is that I've been also role playing with one of my friends, like our characters, because it helps us make sure we're keeping our characters in line with what we want them to be and all that type of stuff and we actually oh look at the vases the vases changed sorry and we actually hit a year one whole year y'all yesterday on the friday that i uploaded the video of straight role playing we have not missed a day of role playing in a year that is ridiculous <laughs> we are nutty but the whole reason i say that is because um that's something that i've been doing also to like make my creative juices flow and stuff when I couldn't be on Sims because I was not able to play anything because my game was like falling apart. Um, and so I just felt like sharing that with you guys is that like most of the things that I'm thinking or most of the Sims that I'm thinking of making are from my newest story that I'm working on and it's not really a new story but it's a story that now I'm working on consistently so I call it my newest story and it actually is if I think about it my newest story that looks like Christmas it actually is my newest story if I think about it because I've been writing since I was in like fifth grade and I'm now 25 about to turn 26 and like I had to think four months <laughs> I had to think what month we are we're in because we're right around the corner from March my birthday is in June um and so I've been writing since fifth grade and that's always been something that I've done to like keep my creative juices flowing and so I feel like going back to that and these are all the same so we're not going to go through all of them but I feel like going back to that is just really really nice for me it's like reliving something that I loved as a kid and still love I'm um, like rediscovering it Okay, so we have a new fountain. We have, what is this? A, doo -doo 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 -doo, an easel. I was like, what is the word for this? Okay, we have a hidden wedding aisle, short. Oh, so that way, I guess the, the oh, that's really cute. And it shows you like where the lovebirds are gonna be. Okay, let me read what it actually says. This is more, this is, this more subtle wedding aisle will allow you to place your aisle almost anywhere, such as over any rug, carpet, tile, wooden floor, or flat ground you desire. It will almost, be as if this disappears to leave your decorations in pristine condition. Okay, so you have that wedding aisle as well as a floral one. And they're all different sizes, as you guys can see, right? All different sizes. And then we, oh, not what I wanted to grab. And then we have a long one, right? And 
Ooh, follow the flowery road. Okay, we'll, we'll check all this stuff in a second. And then we have another long one, okay? All right, so let's go through really quickly. Let's go through this one. So this is one of our rugs that we got. These are pretty. Ooh. Yeah, so I guess if you want to do like something like that, right, you can lay this over it, and then this would be like their wedding aisle. So that's nice. Um, we have different color flowers, right? This is what it looks like. <laughs> the black and the purple was gorgeous. Um, and then this is just invisible, so it's not going to change color. Okay. And then we have our Simlish, right? Our Simlish easel telling you, I guess, when people are getting married or what you can buy from which stall, I guess, like from these, these trailer things. Um, what else? What else did I just click on? Oh, this fountain. So we also have the fountain, right? Just different things. And I like the little rose detail down here. That's pretty. And again, just more fountains. Very, I like that white one. That white one looks nice and white and pristine. Okay, we have three more. We have three more we're going to go through. Three more things, three more rows. Those signs of love. So I'm guessing this goes on a wall. Yep. <clears throat> so that goes on a wall. What is this? Oh, that's so pretty. That is gorgeous. It's like a dragon and a crane, I think. Is that a crane? But that's beautiful. I love that. Oh, that's beautiful. That gold. What does this even say? It wasn't some big cloudy mystery. You'd be you'd been dating for five years and the signs were all there. Humongous signs. Signs that read you're about to have your tickets punched for the slow ride to Wedding Town. Call me a hopeless romantic. Call me a sap with a full fist of simoleons. But I just had to buy you those very signs as your wedding gift. Keep the change, you happy couple. That is so cute. So I'm guessing you can give people gifts also. I never knew that. I'm telling you, I really didn't look up anything about this new cat. Oh my God, what is this? I'll look at that in a second. I really didn't look up anything about this new pack because I wanted to be surprised because I knew I was going to record. Like, I told myself, you're going to record for this because this sounds like a really, really fun pack. And then all the drama was happening, so I was like, no, I, I definitely need to find out more about this pack um, via purchasing it because just the stuff I saw in the trailer, I was like, I really want it. But I also wanted to give it a fair shot and a fair chance and a fair judgment based off of all the drama surrounding it and Russia and the Sims and love is love. And I was just like, that. there's a lot going on. I was like, let me go find out what's happening myself. And that's something I always try to do is I try to figure out what's going on myself, give my own judgment. Okay, those are very cute. So those were dividers, right? And then, or sorry, this is a backdrop actually, and this is a divider. So wait, can this go against a wall? I'm just curious. Will it go against a wall? Wait. Oh, it can, okay. Yeah, you see from like the side, let me go on the side. It's pretty, pretty flat. So that's your backdrop, I guess, of your wedding. And then what is this? I must know. Oh, a pergola. I keep forgetting what that word is. Um, every time I see it, I was like, I was like, what is this thing? I know what this is. Ah, okay. But so this is what it looks like. I'm assuming it's the same as all the other flower arrangement type things we've already seen. That is gorgeous. I love that color. Um, wow. The pride one got a lot going on with the colors, but ooh, I like that. I'm sorry, as a person who likes purple, that was made for me. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? Banners for love. Well, let's go find out. And then we just have another post, right, for the banner, which I did not put the post in the right spot. There you go. So this is what it says, and I guess it could be like somebody's name, right, or like welcome to the wedding. Wait, can you not change the color of this? But you can change the color of this. So I guess the post doesn't change color. Okay, yeah, the post doesn't change color, but the actual things do. So you see there's some hearts, there's some decorations, random hearts, I think a bird. Yep, okay. Is this another pergola? Oh, no, we have a wedding tent now. Okay, we got a wedding tent now. Okay. So if you want to get married and you don't want to get rained on, but you're still like, we're having this wedding. We spent too much money. This is not getting canceled. You just pull up the wedding tent. That's very cute. And then you have the lighted wedding tent. Ooh. So the same thing we just saw, right? Just with lights on top of it with some flowers. That is really pretty. I love that. I would definitely do the lighted wedding tent probably. 
in real life and in The Sims. <laughs> okay, we have another pergola, and now we're running out of space, but I'm just gonna pretend there's nothing under here, and, <laughs> you know, it's protecting all of it. Okay, the purpose of it. Um, and so this one has a top, because the other one is clear, right? Or it's see-through. Um, and then we have stakes to the heart. Oh, that's really cute. Go, they go on the ground. That's adorable. And then we have a blooming centerpiece. So another centerpiece, which we'll look at in a second. We have another centerpiece and one more. And I think this is another one and we're running out of space. Where's another table? <laughs> I need another table. Okay, we'll put you here, that's fine. And is this another one? Oh my God, okay, no, this is a light. Okay, we'll come back. All right, so let's see what we got. We got our heart stakes, right? So we have purple, pink, other pinks, more reds. Ooh, this one's roses, that's pretty. Do these light up? I wonder. I'm gonna go look real quick in a second. Okay, do these light up? No, they don't. It just is pretty. I was just curious because they look kind of see-through, kind of like the other. Oh, wait, no, they're not because I can't see the line behind them, like how I could the chair. Okay, so this is another centerpiece, right? This um, one with the candles. This is what it looks like. This is really pretty. Like just the, the actual centerpiece is really pretty. Okay. <clears throat> And then we have the two here. We have the one with the candles and the flower. And then we have the one with the candle, I guess, holder or ceremonial piece in the middle. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go look in a second. Elegant exotic lamp. I was like, what is this called? It's a lamp. <laughs> okay, no, this is pretty. And then we also have another centerpiece. So let's see what that looks like. I probably should, let me, let me darken this table because I feel like it should not be white on white. Like it's just a lot going on. Like, it's actually hurting my eyes, so it's probably hurting yours if you're looking real close. But this is what that looks like. And then we had this one right here, right? We had this lamp. I guess it's just a plain lamp with a candle inside, which is very pretty, right? And then we have this dragon lamp. That is gorgeous. Okay, Mushu, I love this. protection great ancestor you just say the word and i'm there Mushu. and let me say something anybody who's foolish enough to threaten our family vengeance will be mine Mushu. <laughs> that is so pretty okay i like that then we have a wall lamp oh was that it that was everything oh okay wait hold on i feel like i'm missing something did i miss anything and then we have a wall lamp. Because I know usually lamps and bookcases are the last thing in the pack when you go through them. Okay, so I think that was everything. Let me just quickly go to my wedding stories rooms and see what rooms we have. But first, let me show you guys. So this is everything we have. Again, we are on a 30 by 30 lot and we pretty much were able to show you everything. Some of it did have to over overlap like the pergola. But it's pretty much decent i just made myself dizzy by spinning that so fast okay so that's everything we have right and then i'm just going to show you guys really quick uh the different rooms so we have double happiness which is this room okay and i'm gonna put that there we have regal reception so i guess if you're uh, a royal getting married right we have this one we have enchanting mandap which is in red white and pink right so let me buy this one and then we have ready to mingle oh that's really cute it's like uh the after party right that's really nice ready to mingle and then we have one more which is rosy nuptials that is gorgeous i love that okay i really like that one and then that one's that one all right so let me just show you guys the different rooms real quick show y'all the different rooms real quick okay so this is what rosy nuptials looks like this was um 
the royal wedding one that I was just talking about. And I love these new lights. I never noticed, by the way, that we got these new saucer lights, the really tiny ones. Like, I was just like, why is everybody shrinking their lights? Because I know that was a thing that was happening. And I guess Sims finally realized, like, oh, people are doing this. We might as well give them the small one. <laughs> and then we have this one as well. I think this was the Mandap one, if I remember right. And then last but not least, we had the get ready to party one, right? The after party. So that was all of build and buy mode. Um, that was everything in the game. Pretty sure I got through it all. I, like I said last time in the last video, the Kaz, that I would let you guys know if I still think it's worth it. I really do still think it's worth it. For the $21 that I spent, it was really, like I said, $19.99, then plus tax $21 US. Um, I think that was worth it for $21. We got a lot of new clothes that I love and you can use them for lots of different things. Like I said, you can use them for party wear, formal wear. Some of it you can use for everyday wear or if you're trying to be traditional, right? Um, that's really great. And then also all of these objects you can use for lots of different things, like for a garden. You can use it in a Sims backyard. You can use it in some of your kids' rooms. And then you can also obviously use it was what it was for intended for, which is for weddings. I think it's worth it. I say get it if you feel comfortable getting it. I know, like I said, some people are um, boycotting it is what I heard. And I get why they're boycotting it. Truly understand that. Um, but I think it's worth it. And I don't know, this might be a hot take. But I think also, and, and like I said, it might be a hot take. Y'all might be mad at me. But I, I think also that we need to hold if people are mad at Russia for not for Sims not putting the pack there, right? I think that we also need to hold those countries accountable. Like Russia needs to be accountable for their not believing in same-sex love and giving equal rights to have that love be public, right? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So, I don't know, that's my two cents. Okay, hopefully I don't go missing after this video. <laughs> long story short i think that it was worth it totally get it if you feel comfortable getting it i think it's good all right and i will see you all soon because now i have four worlds that i need to update before i really make any new videos because i like to play my games with fully functioning gameplay and i do not want to play with four worlds still missing stuff okay all right so i will see you all soon you guys already know my model sim school sleep repeat and i will see you all in the next one bye guys